What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the best left wingers for all budgets. Now I'm going to be splitting the wingers into two categories, right? First up we have got Neymar who is going to be about shooting and cutting in from the wing position to give you more of an advanced central attack position and he's all about dribbling and skills. And then we've got the second type winger which is somebody like Sterling or Mane or Sané or somebody like that that's all about overlapping runs, crossing skills, really stretching the opponent as wide as possible so it suits a possession or an out wide play style whereas Neymar and them type of players like Son which we'll get to in a second is all about adding that threat from wide positions to then getting into a central position so this is the Sterling type this is the second type uh, winger that we were looking at here it's Matoma on the wing and look at the, how wide we're going to be going and then also for Neymar depending on where you play him he's going to be all about shooting and cutting in so given that threat you'll see there he's right in front of the goals so we are going to kick off with a budget option, Aktokoglu, sorry for the pronunciation lads. This guy has got insane stats, he's really really cheap, he's only about 18,000 and he trains up really well. He can play left wing or right wing, you're going to be using him as a dribble centric guy, right? So this is his maxed out rating, as you see here, very nice stats, 87 dribble, 94 acceleration and 89 balance. A very good budget option if you are looking for a winger that is similar to Sterling that can kind of cut in and just have pure blister and pace. Next up we have got Rafael Liao. This guy needs no introduction lads, one of the best players in the game I would say, an absolutely amazing winger. He's just slightly harder to play with because of his balance, you need to max that out as best as possible to 90, but he is a taller player so he is going to have that kind of like different janky kind of animation running style, um, you know, that the smaller base players don't have. But that's what he maxes out at there if you are looking for an outright winger. Same with Diaz from Liverpool, I actually love this guy. He's a speeding bullet, absolute brilliant winger as well. He's a beast and he's a left-sided player. He can play left mid or left wing and also right wing. He's not that expensive either. He's only about 170,000 and this is what he maxes out at. Now you will see that Diaz does have pinpoint crossing and outside curler, which means that you can get crosses in without having those, you know, high passing stats. But again, it's all going to be about speed. Coleman is there as well. We have him because he's a super sub and he also has long range curler. So Coleman is kind of a different different type of player we're going to be bringing him on as kind of like a Neymar light kind of player he's cheaper obviously than Neymar he's only 180k but he can play any position on the left or right as a super sub that's invaluable we do have to pump in a couple into his team play style but the rest of his stats are really good and he does have double touch and speeding bullet as well now we've got Vinny Jr, right? So Vinny, I've trained him up a little bit different, lads, as a left winger, right? I think Vinny is probably best used as a cutting in player because of his finishing and curve. That's kind of where I would use him, even though he hasn't long range curler. He is a very good finisher and you will be using him as a kind of a cut in player similar to Neymar, except you won't have those curl shots, but you will have more direct shooting. Uh, we've also got this guy, a Galino, who plays for Porto. He's got a wavering form. He's got a sick card as well. He's really, really, really cheap. And of course, we're only going to be, you know, getting a couple of options for budgets here as well. So he's only 14,000, but he maxes out really nice. And I love his 90 dribbling, 96 acceleration and 91 speed. So he doesn't really have much else stats or player skills um, than what you see here. But that pure blister and pace and acceleration to bring him on is invaluable. We've also got the big boy Son. One of the best players in the game. Son can actually play as a centre forward. I think he's definitely worth being in your squad, especially with that unwavering form. He's got long range curler, long range shooting. So as I said at the start, this is going to be like the Neymar type player. If you're not a shooting dribbler, right? If you don't cut in and shoot with your, drib with your dribblers or your wingers, then there's no point in buying Son or Neymar in my opinion. You can get guys way cheaper, such as Coleman or Sané or any of those guys that I've showed you that are going to do that job for you. But if you are looking for a, you know, an absolute shooter, then Son is the guy to do it. Now, Eze, this, this guy is an absolute monster, lads, as well. Eze, he is a beast on the wing. He can play any position on the left and he can play center forward as well. He maxes out really, really, really well as a left midfielder but he can play as a winger and he's just all about pace and speed and power as well. Speeding bullets, amazing run as his AI styles and also Sané. Sané is probably my favorite winger, outright winger. Obviously we've got Dembele who will feature in the right sided wingers. He's probably my favorite ever, but Sané is fast kind of approaching as the best left sided winger for me. He's just so strong on the ball. 
His stats are absolutely perfect. He's got 90 dribble and 90 speed, 82 balance and 94 acceleration. But again, you are going to want to be able to kind of cut in and shoot with him as well. He's kind of a mix of both of the best. And then we have last but not least the creme de la crop, Neymar Jr., I mean, what more can I say about this guy, lads? He is insane. You don't need to, you know, train up too much, too much of his stats. You you can save a lot by training the rest of his stats. Obviously, his speed is the big one. You need to pump eight into that. But passing, dribbling, best in the business. Skills, best in the business. And again, if you are cutting in and scoring a lot of goals with your wingers, you need Neymar in your team. If you don't, then you can just concentrate on on acceleration and pace, which you can get better than Neymar for that. So that is it for my budget players, lads for um, the best left wingers for all budgets in uh, eFootball 2023. Let me know if you agree or disagree or if I missed anybody and I'll be back soon.